Hello everyone. Welcome to introductory class of Operation Amplifier. I am Tana Shahid. I am going to present few slides on Operation Amplifier. What is Operation Amplifier? It is a very uh, versatile electronic device which can perform several mathematical operations like summation, integration, differentiation, etc. And that's why it is called uh, Operation Amplifier. It is used in many diverse fields like control system, communication, and implementation, etc. This is the basic symbol of operational amplifier. Here you can see it has two input terminals connected by negative sign and positive sign. One is called inverting input terminal, and another is called non inverting input terminal. Two supply voltages, the negative and the positive, and another is it is basically a very high gain direct coupled amplifier with high input impedance and low output impedance. The AC equivalence circuit of operational amplifier is this. Here you can see that the two input terminals are connected to an input medium on I. The output voltage is actually a voltage dependent source which depends on the decrement of the two input terminal voltages. R is the output impedance. So, if we can write B O equal to A B T minus B 1, which is the difference voltage at the two terminals, and if we know that the ideal amplifier has a gain, open loop gain of infinity, then we will have T T minus B 1 equal to 0. That means B 2 will be equal to B 1 in ideal case, which implies that Whatever the voltage of the non inverted terminal there is, the V1, that is inverting terminal voltage, will be the same as the non inverting voltage terminal. Non inverting terminal voltage. This concept is called virtual ground concept. Then, uh, this is actually show, showing that the V1 and V2 are virtually shorted or virtually ground angles. That's why the V1 equals to V2. There are different parameters based on which we can uh, characterize the uh, open. In ideal case, um, these parameters are voltage gain, input impedance, output impedance, bandwidth, and output voltage. Uh, in ideal case, the voltage gain is of uh, open is infinite uh, because the uh, mode of open loop gain is the data the performance of the amplifier will be. The input impedance is infinite as it won't allow any, if it is infinite, it won't allow any input current to go into the input circuit field of the op -band. Output impedance is zero. That means the, this op can supply all the current to the output load, which is necessary for proper operation. Uh, bandwidth is implied, that means the ideal operation of the file can work, uh, can amplify any frequency signal in a very wide range. Offset voltage will be zero, that means if there is no input signal voltage at these two input terminals, the output voltage uh, will be zero. So, ideal of them, this is the Inverting amplifier circuit. Okay. This is the most basic circuit of the op amp where we are connecting uh, applying the input signal to R1 to the inverting terminal and feed that uh, and output voltage is feed back to, to the input to so our feedback voltage R2. The non inverting terminal is grounded. As we know, due to virtual ground concept, the node voltage at this node A will be equal to zero. And as the um, as the input impedance is infinity, um, we have sorry um, infinity. Then means the current that is falling through R1 will again flow through R2. There will be no Current inside the open, so we can write normal equation as this that is given minus Vi by R1. This current 
would equal to b i minus b o by r two. So solving due to the theorem concept because b i will be equal to zero, so we will have a uh, r two positive equation as sorry this that is b o minus r two by r one into b n. This negative sign indicates the Inversion of the input signal at the output terminal. That means the inverting amplifier will invert the input signal at the output. This is the circuit diagram of non-inverting amplifier. Here, this is uh, not much different from the inverting amplifier. As we are just applying the input signal to the non-inverting terminal, it's beta inverting terminal. The inverting terminal, inverting terminal here, it is grounded, and we are supplying signal that we want the amplification at the non-inverting terminal. This is the circuit. So, um, applying the same principle to the virtual ground, this node voltage. Node A voltage will be equal to B2, and because of the high input impedance of the voltage, this current, which is will still flow through R0, will again flow through R0. That's why we can write the equation like this. That is V2 by R0, V2 minus B0 by R0, and so we will have the equation like this. This is the function of one plus R0 by R0, and here you can see there is no sign. Uh, negative sign here. That means whatever the signal we are applying to this terminal, the phase of the output voltage will be same. That's why it is called non-inverting. That means it is not inverting the signal. So from these two circuits, we can uh, say that uh, by applying different signal to different input terminals and by using Uh, proper feedback path and input circuitry. We can actually use OPAM in many applications. That's uh, all for uh, this topic for introductory class. Thank you for your time.